Hello everyone, Dark Carnival here. Today is a very special video because this is a vlog and a vlog is always cool. Today is gonna be the first um, crafting vlog, but basically there will be no crafting today, unfortunately, because as you can see, my uh, craft... <laughs> My crafting room is pretty much a mess and that's only a part of it. I will not show you the rest of it because um, I have some stuff that I'm working on that I'm not willing to show right now. Now, not right now. <laughs> so uh, this is only a part of my crafting room. So you can see it is a whole mess. So yeah, I really have to do a cleanup of that. Right now I'm uh, currently editing uh, my uh, upcoming reaction video uh, to one of the um, World Cosplay Summit Championship. So yeah, I'm currently waiting for it to upload uh, correctly to my computer so I can make um, some editing using uh, OBS and um, uh, movie maker. I know I'm so professional, right? <laughs> I'm waiting and while I'm waiting I'm currently also watching. One of my favorite YouTubers right now is uh, Das Games. So yeah, I'm currently watching Das Games. Um, I'm watching his uh, special uh, video for a 6 million uh, subscribers special. So congratulations Das, you're awesome. I love you and I watch you almost every day. I rewatch you every day and I love him so much so if you want to subscribe to Daz Games uh, subscribe to Daz Games. Daz Game is amazing is so funny is so entertaining and uh, yeah we should all subscribe to Daz Games <laughs> so like I said the first video I don't think I'm gonna be crafting for now but you're gonna see me cleaning this mess for sure so yeah today I have to do some editing and some cleaning I'm currently working on a commission for one of my friends but I've received uh, another commission uh, request another suggestion for a commission and um, I have to make a research to uh, see how much I would ask uh, for that commission. So I cannot talk about it yet, but yeah, I have to go to the fabric store to see how much uh, the fabric would cost me to make uh, this commission and uh, basically to estimate how much I would ask for it. So maybe I would go there tomorrow if I have time and if I can manage to have the car and if I don't I will simply go the next day it's not not that big of a deal so this is uh it's gonna be a really smooth uh, first uh, crafting vlog not crafting vlog more like cleaning vlog <laughs> again everyone so as I was cleaning my crafting room I noticed that I have a lot of wigs um, around <laughs> all, all over the place so I've decided to uh, make a cleaning in my wig as well I have so many wigs in so many different back uh, honestly so I wanted to uh, purchase a bigger uh, box to basically uh, be able to put all my wigs in one place so, so hopefully this one will be big enough so I won't have to uh, purchase any more in the future so, and for once since I began cosplay I will actually be able to know how many wigs I own and to be honest with you I'm scared <laughs> I'm really scared to know how many wigs I own because it seems like a lot and the funniest thing about that is that um, I want more <laughs> and as you can see I recently shaved my head which was long overdue I shave my head usually about um, three times a year because one I don't need that much time to prepare in the morning so that's a good thing and second it's way easier to put on wigs that way so I think it looks good it looks good on me I think
we are heading to the fabric store. I had to make a stop first at the Imaginar because I had to purchase um, the last, uh, not the last, but um, the only Black Butler um, manga that I didn't own yet. I'm kind of embarrassed because I've never been late on Black Butler before. And now I'm like three tomes uh, late. So I'm pretty ashamed of myself. Everybody that knows me knows that Black Butler is my favorite manga and anime of all time. So to know that I'm three tomes late, uh, honestly, I feel really ashamed. So, but now I have uh, the last one that I didn't own. So now I will be able to read them all and <laughs> not be late anymore. And because I'm so damn late, I had been spoiled several times. But at this point, I don't really care about, about spoilers. So uh, everything that you can tell me about Black Butler, any spoilers that you can um, tell me, I probably already know it. <laughs> so yeah, I have to uh, go to the fabric store. I didn't need uh, really any um, fa specific fabric for any costume, but, but I always take a look at the new fabrics that they have. Um, if by any chance I see something interesting. I mainly go there to uh, for some research for my potential other commission. Like I said, it's not official. I only have to make a research to establish uh, a price for it. And uh, yeah, after that, I'm gonna be able to uh, make a budget, make my final price and see if the project is uh, finally official. And I might need some interfacing as well because I ran out of interfacing and right now I need some interfacing to complete uh, the commission I'm making for my friend. Okay, so sorry for the sudden jump cut, guys. Uh, my phone decided to die on me while I was uh, driving to the fabric store. So, um, unfortunately, I could not uh, record while I was at the store, which really bothers me. But next time I will try to bring you with me uh, to vlog inside of the store while I'm purchasing my fabrics. Again, so sorry about that. So, um, this is what I got at the fabric store today. First of all, I needed some um, interfacing for my current commission that I'm working on. So, I currently purchased um, 2 meters of interfacing. This is the interfacing that I like to use because it's kind of really stiff but quite flexible as well. It's basically interfacing that can be fixed with uh, an iron, so two meters of interfacing, which should be enough for what I need for my uh, current commission. So this is out of the way. Okay, next um, we have this beautiful uh, green fabric here with a very lovely texture. I'm going to be using it because for the second time, I'm going to be remaking my Esmeralda corset because the one that I made last time was uh, made out of same color, but it was made out of velvet but unfortunately my boning what was not uh, safe enough for that corset so my lining is really really damaged right now so yeah I want to remake it to make sure that this time I'm using the correct type of boning and that that will not damage uh, my lining at all and I didn't really look for the same type of fabric I was looking more for the specific a specific color so i ended up finding this one and i think the texture is really really nice so i actually purchased a one meter of that fabric which will be more than enough for what i need to do with it so here we go this is out of the way as well <laughs> and last but certainly not least i found this beautiful blue fabric that i'm gonna be actually using for um, my todoroki cosplay like the hero suit version 
So I've been looking for so long for the perfect fabric for Todoroki. I didn't want really a plain color. I wanted something with texture and with uh, several shades uh, of blue in it. At first I wanted to purchase some uh, jeans fabric for Todoroki, but um, <laughs> one of my friends told me, you know that Todoroki is not genius, right? So I was like, yeah, you're right. I think it wouldn't be appropriate for Todoroki since Genist is really recognized for being dressed in jeans so that would be a bit confusing but I'm really glad I've been able to find a fabric that is not jeans but the color is really really similar to jeans and it's pretty thick as well I really like the texture of that fabric it's really rough it's not too thin it's not too um, thick so I think it's gonna be really fun to work with that. I purchased a zipper to go with it. This is gonna be for Todoroki. Finally, I'm gonna be able to make that cosplay. So we have one meter of green fabric, three meters of blue fabric, and two meters of interfacing plus a zipper. So all of that for $100, which is to me a really good, a really good price. So that's what's gonna conclude my first vlog for today. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. And if you want to give this video a like, it's gonna be really much appreciated. For my next upcoming vlog, I'm gonna be actually crafting this time. I'm gonna be vlogging while I'm working on my commission that I'm doing for a friend. So I will see you soon. Soon and until next time, dream, believe, and keep on cosplaying. See you guys!